Greetings, Sekiro Guru's back. And this time I'm in first person, with a first person mod. Can the bosses of this game finally take me down? Doubtful. General Ten Ten first to warm up, but I'm playing on the latest patch. So we'll really see if the comments on my boss guides, the constant comments, about the strategy is not working anymore really true. You're not gonna make a lie out of the guru with this day. A bit awkward to uh, see what you're doing when you're inside the head of the ninja. But he's been taken down quite easily. We interrupt this video from a quick word from our kind sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends is one of the best looking feature packed mobile games out there. Venture through 12 challenging campaign missions, collecting over 400 rare, epic, or even legendary champions to battle within dungeons, story missions, or even PvP. As you can see at a glance, the graphics are great, comparable to many AAA console games, which is why it isn't surprising to hear that Raid has also made the seamless jump to PC, letting you carry on your quest in the same account on either platform. And best of all, it's free to play on both. So what are you waiting for? Start summoning and collecting your army of champions now, and level them up with countless possible combinations. Go to the video description to find the special download links. If you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver plus one free champion, Hexweaver. It's old school, and that's why I like it. So check it out today. It's free, so you've got nothing to lose. Okay, now I'll put Lady Butterfly to the complete test. The trickier to lock on with this mod. He's one of the people who I always get told has been patched. I mean, it's the same strategy on my video. Just be very aggressive until she deflects your attack. And she'll follow that up with a kick, which you can also deflect for setting the key process. And do this for the entire fight, even in first person. This will build her posture quickly and swiftly. Always want to close the gap fast as she gets away from you. She will summon the ghouls. And we don't want that. This, uh, this has never been patched. They're never going to patch this game. From software making no DLC for this, are they, old woman? They were disgusted about that, but they've given up on it. They've moved on to Elden Ring. There'll never be patches for this, any of it. Now we see she hides up there, starts throwing shurikens at her while she sits up there thinking she's hiding. That gives you some free damage. Now we just repeat the process from the first phase. There's no escape, old woman. And if I can do this in first person, Anybody can do it. Although I am the ghoul. No escape, old woman. Right in her face, first person, we see the hideous visage of the crow. Take you out, you old bitch. I'm sorry. But you should be sorry. Out of the way. Now for the blazing bowl. What we will do is the exact same goddamn thing I have my boss guide as it still works perfectly. But I still get comments daily saying this has been patched or whatever. No, it hasn't. What you do is just create key distance by running with the run button. Then block the flank when it tries to punch you like that. Get a few hits in. Run away. Do it again. Do it too soon, you'll look like a dickhead. Do it too late, and you'll look like a twat. It's much more difficult to do this in first person. So I can do it. You can. It's been a resurgence in popularity with this game since it won Game of the Year. Probably because those journalists that couldn't beat the game followed the guides of the guru 
Now they can. So they think the game is great. Next up is Oniwa. And his cowardly horse. Charge straight at him. Your free hits him while he's announcing his arrogance. Then you want to position yourself. And not get too greedy. Reflect the art attack here. You want to try and grapple. And that symbol. Green symbol pops up. Tricky there in first person this. We're playing the game as it was completely unintended to be played. Again, there's still comments on this video, it's been patched. There's that green symbol. Grapple in and dice. Don't forget the firecrackers to startle his pony. Hey! Good night, you imbecile. No, oh, it's still going. I got help. Start it with firecrackers. Oh! And you'll pop. Yes, I don't think there'll ever be DLC for this game. They moved on from it, so they won't patch it. If they were going to patch any of this, they would have done it by now. They haven't even patched the Demon of Hatred. They're not going to patch a boss's move set. There was no glitch. The FromSoft team wanted you to do these uh, cheeses on bosses. It's a game about using your ninja stealth, your ninja intelligence. That's how you do it. It's all muscle memory. Or tricks. Ninjas play tricks. They're not honorable. I keep hearing these idiotic comments about honor. Ninjas don't have honor. They're assassins. And a shinobi is a ninja. I hear other idiot comments about it. It's not a ninja. It's a shinobi. Shinobi is Japanese for ninja. Go look it up. It both means the same goddamn thing. Come here. You firecracker demon. Within the horse itself, merged with it. In a first person glitch. Stab you, you arrogant imbecile. Here we go with the ogre. Same tactic applies as in my original guide from nine months ago. Be constantly circling him, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. When he misses like that, hit him and carry on moving. Stay close, you person. This will make it easier to dodge the ugly cretin this way. All of his moves are easy to avoid. So don't be intimidated by his stench. Come on, slob. A close look at his crotch in first person. It's a tedious fight, though. No doubt about it. He's so weak early on. I can't believe you see what he's doing in first person, and I can still do this. Die, you annoying, tedious, slob demon. Good night. Ashina Castle. Good night. Oh. Always start with a bow attack, followed by a sword attack. You can interrupt that after you've dodged the arrow. You want to be ultra aggressive against him to make him panic. His AI is weak. Impression will make key mistakes. A 
It's already one health bar gone. When he backs off, he'll get his bow out, so I'll, again, I always close the gap when he pulls away. Makiri counter his unblockable thrust. Which is easier to do when you're not in first person. Jump is avoidable. Sweep. Yada yada. It's all common sense, really. To stab him more than he stabs you, you should come out on top. Again, never been patched, because why would it? This is the way it's supposed to be done. Even the proper cheats. Only a couple of them were ever patched. If my guy's not working, it's because you're not following it. You're fucking up. The guru doesn't fuck up. Now he's cheating lightning of way of tomorrow thing. Counter his opening lunge. Jump into the lightning. Throw it back at him. And then the same kind of process. He's weak, he's the easiest form. The lightning cheats of tomorrow won't help him. You're weak, get it, you know, even in first person. Off with your head. Ashita is not coming to save you. You can't be finished your arrow without first beating his bodyguard, Suzuki Sanity. Just wait for that little light on his sword. Easy. Then deflect. Even Frostgar could do this. And he did. He can do it, and it's supposed to be awful. Why are so many people failing this one? If you can't parry this obvious attack, you can't beat this game. Just learn the skill. Now seven Ashina Spears. One of the toughest mini bosses, probably. But he can be cheesed easy enough, as seen in my original video. But that's too easy. We're gonna take him down the honorable way. There's a few unblockable thrusts. So remember, A, B, C. Always be countering. When you get the chance. Attacks are slow, so let him come to you and deflect when prompted to build his posture up real nice. By the way, you'll notice that at the start of each boss right here, the name of the location comes up. This is another mod, it's like a boss rush mode, it just teleports you to the bosses. So there's a misty door straight away, and you can buy items at a shop. Because I'm not playing through the whole game just to get to these bosses. I knew none of this had been patched. If there hasn't been one now, there never will be. You don't need to keep putting comments on like the Demon of Hatred thing works as of whatever 2020. It's gonna work forever. They would have patched it by now. They don't give a shit. They moved on to another game. But the Guru will be back soon in Neo 2. So don't co-op and cheat on it. Try and follow my guides on that. And then I'll be back for uh Elden Ring, whenever the hell that comes out. My boo village again with the corrupted monk. We're gonna make a monkey out of her by equipping the divine confetti for extra damage and consuming a sugar for that extra, extra damage. We'll deflect her. A little combo at the start, which sets things up nicely. Follow it up with some firecrackers and then strike twice. Repeat this until your emblems are gone. The ghoul's posture will be pretty much full by this point. So finish the rest how you best please. Spam firecracker. Spam dice. Sunken Valley. This is another boss I get a lot of comments on saying my guy doesn't work. How dare they insult the ghoul's key material. All you have to do is constantly spam the block button as fast as you can. You'll deflect every one of its attacks. You don't even have to move, keep pressing it over and over until it kills itself. Repeat this for the next phase. The only difference being that he'll use an unblockable every now and again, so just be ready to jump on his melon head. The only time. Easy. 
not been patched because this is how you're supposed to do it. You're just bumbling. That's it for part one. Will there be a part two of the first person mod boss rush? Maybe. That depends on you, the Star Wars viewer. This gets enough likes and comments, views, etc. I may do another one, showcasing the rest of the bosses. Till then, click the link at the end of the video for my Sekiro hard mod, no death, no heal, playthrough. And don't forget to check out Raid Shadow Legends with the link in the video description. To perfectly parry this animal, or on the hard mode, you take block damage, gotta remind you of that. So it's done.